Okay, so here's a credit card and it's offering a deal. So take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. The deal they're offering is that if you pay them $45, they'll give you 4.5% cash back on all the purchases you make, let's say for a year. How much would you have to spend in a year to gain a profit of at least $45? Now, the profit I'm talking about, and the gain essentially, is uh, if you want to make a profit, the cash back you get has to be greater than this $45, this annual fee, right? So a profit in, in general from this perspective is cash back minus the loss, which is the annual fee. So minus that $45. So in order for us to get a profit, this cash back, if it's less than the annual fee, you'll have, you won't have a profit, you'll have a loss. And if the cash back is more than the annual fee, then you'll have a gain, right? So the cash back, it has to be uh, at greater than the annual fee in order for there to be a profit. That's the first thing. And in this case, if we want to gain at least $45, we can set up an equation to, to, to do this. We can say, well, 4.5% is 0.045 times some amount of money. This is our cash back, right? I'm going to move this over so it lines up. Let me shift some of these things around. It's a little messy here. All right, so the first idea is that cash back has to be greater than your annual fee in order for there to be a profit. And the profit we're getting is going to be equal to the cash back we get. In our case right here, this cash back is this statement right here. It's 4.5% of all we spend. And then we're taking away the annual fee. So that's our loss. So we subtract that minus $45. That amount, we're saying a profit of at least $45. So it has to be greater than or equal to $45. That's our profit amount, right? That's what we're, we're saying at least that much. So, so how do we do that? We solve this equation. So let's rewrite it. We have 45 is less than or equal to 0.045x minus 45. So we add 45 to both sides. All right, let me just make sure I got that right, yep. And then these cancel and 45 plus 45 is $90. 0.045 times something. And let's solve this. Let's divide both sides by 0 0.045. 0.045, and this will give us our answer. So x is going to be, I'm going to keep this on the same side. x has to be the amount we spend, has to be at least how much? Let's see. 90 divided by 0.045. Look at that amount, $2,000. So we have to spend on this card $2,000 in order to get a profit of $45, right? And you could also say, well, how much would you have to spend just to break even, right? And that's also an interesting calculation. In that case, this would be greater than or equal to zero. So you solving that, you'd end up doing, just take a look at that for fun, $45, let's say, you want to break even, right? So it's going to be a zero over here. We could do the same math. We add 45 to both sides. It's 45 divided by 0 0.045. So if you spend $1,000, you just break even. As soon as you start spending more than 1000 you start getting a little bit of a profit. All right, I hope that helped.